So in this segment, we're going to be talking about the quote 2000 ideas that Boris Johnson, sorry, Brexiteers give to Rees Mogg to obliterate EU rules. Out of 2000, they boiled it down to nine, and those nine are a load of rubbish. So let's just go straight down um, for this one. You know, Mogg asked the people of Sun Readers and uh, The Express to, for ideas because he didn't want to do his own work because he's too busy telling, um, telling civil servants to go back to their desks, even though it's so dumb. Mogg always insisted that this included making Britain as a result of Brexit and ensuring that the government gets out of the way of ordinary people. So essentially saying get Brexit done means deregulation and listening to ordinary people, which listen to people, not a bad thing. Trying to implement these ideas, rubbish. So out of the 2,000, more than 2,000 ideas that were received, the top nine most interesting proposals were, okay, let's, let's go for each one of these, right? Encourage fracking. Now, fracking is banned not by the EU but individual member states because fracking is deeply unpopular. Fracking is probably one of the top NIMBY things, not in my backyard, because of the amount of environmental and local damage it does. So encouraging fracking, that's nothing to do with Brexit. That's one out. Abolish EU regulations that restrict vacuum cleaners um, You know, to um, 1,400 watts. Now, I don't know what these people are cleaning, right? But the vacuum cleaners they sell in the UK are genuinely fine out of the ones that I've used. Um, if you know, unless you're cleaning some really bad messes, I don't see what the issue is. Especially when vacuum cleaners are really a lot more power efficient, efficient because of EU rules around them. So that's a load of rubbish. Remove precautionary principle restrictions on early use experimental treatments for seriously ill patients. Now, I don't know if that's saying you know to help uh, speed up drugs that would help people with terminal illnesses, or if it means that we can give people with terminal illnesses medicines. Um, experimental ones to see if they actually work which um, they did try in other countries with um, COVID patients to try and give them medicines um, some of them didn't work um, that one again you know we sped up the vaccine there are emergency use cases for certain medicines um, so this one see it feels like rubbish they do want GM crops as well definite rubbish because that's an England law that blocks it abolish rules that around the size of vans that need an operator's license now if I remember correctly in Germany, um, before 1999, if you pass your driving uh, test, you can drive a certain size vehicle. That's why a load of German people in the UK were, um, you know, sent letters to saying, do you want to drive a lorry? Now, that's a load of rubbish because, again, if your van's a certain size, right, um, you should require a specific license if it's, you know, specific, really onerous to drive, if, it's, if it makes it really difficult. You don't want people with massive vans driving around, causing massive traffic problems and getting into accidents because they don't have expertise to drive them. Abolish EU limits on electrical power levels of electric, uh, electrically assisted pedal cycles. Couldn't really find much on that. I don't know if there is an EU limit um, on these, but those work fine as well from what I've seen. You see a lot of delivery drivers start using them now. Um, you know, Unless they're trying to drive as fast as you know Barry Allen runs, I don't see what the issue is. Um, those, those cars, those bikes anyways, you don't go on certain roads with um, speed limits like dual carriageways, etc., because you're not going to go fast enough. Um, so again, that's a load of rubbish, especially when cyclists drive on you know, the side of the road. They're normally not an issue. Uh, remove requirements for agency workers to have all the same attributes of permanent staff. So essentially what they want is to deregulate um, the rules around agency staff. So they want them to be treated differently, uh, worse than permanent staff, which means that if you're a permanent employee, your worker uh, protection is essentially weakened because they can they can try and replace you with agency staff who they're going to treat worse. Agency staff who aren't treated the best in the UK anyways, they don't get things like sick pay, etc. Um, that that's just that's just ludicrous. That one there, number seven, that one's one of the worst ones of the lot, and this one will have real world consequences on workers. Simplify the calculation for holiday pay to make it easier for business to operate. I mean, businesses generally don't have an issue operating holiday pay. Um, so again, that just sounds like a load of rubbish. Make it 12% of pay. Isn't holiday pay, don't you get full pay when you're on holiday anyways? It's based on your hours worked. That just doesn't make any sense. It feels like that's another way to stiff people of the holiday pay. Reduce requirements for businesses to conduct fixed wire testing and portable application testing. The only thing I can, the only thing I could find on that was um, testing, you know, uh, products and electronics. They have to be tested, I think, once a year or once every few years to make sure they're safe. Yeah, you know, deregulating that seems like a great idea. Like when they said we can push MOTs to every two years. I mean, this out of two thousand proposals, this is the best they can come up with. Not even the ten best, the nine best proposals, which are absolute garbage. Let's be honest. Um, 
you know, Mog is said to be delighted with the response. There are some concerns, however, it could take as much as 10 years to, quote, free Britain of some of the regulations. I mean, this is this is malarkey. This is absolute malarkey. Um, this is the top nine you've got. And I would be interested to see what, what the rest of them were, the 2000. Um, hopefully, you know, the Express or someone publishes those soon. You can email Jacob rees Mog if you've got any ideas as well. His email is mentioned below here. Um, you know, they've ended the £50 tax on or £50 lawnmower tax on um, certain types of lawnmowers that you got rid of that ages ago, from what I remember. It's just this is just malarkey, honestly. I don't use that word lightly. lightly. So you can email Mr. Mugwit to public correspondence at cabinetoffice.gov.uk or send mail to Jacob Rees Mogg's cabinet office directly. Um, mark your correspondence, Brexit opportunity ideas, and tell Mog you're an express reader so Mog knows you're serious. You know, none of this sun reader nonsense. You know, you're an express reader. You're a diehard Brexiteer and nothing will change your opinion. No matter how many facts or how much evidence people give you, you're an express reader, which means you're a diehard Brexiteer to the end. You know, you believed in Brexit when we joined the EEC because that's how much you believed in sovereignty, etc. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.